Welcome back to Neighborhood Journal. We continue our show on a small farm tucked away in a corner of Bergen Community College. As Jeff Hennig tells us, New Jersey First Lady Mary Pat Christie was on hand to honor the founder of an all-volunteer environmental group as her next New Jersey hero. It was a very exciting late July afternoon at Bergen Community College in Paramus as New Jersey First Lady Mary Pat Christie came to announce her 29th New Jersey hero in five years and fifth of 2014. We try to really kind of diversify our heroes. We often look for themes. Um, the summertime was some place where we really wanted to promote growing and farming and Eric fit the bill. Mrs. Christie came to the college to honor 22-year-old Eric Fuchs Stengel, founder and executive director of the six-year-old Mawa Environmental Volunteers Organization for his work on the Farm to Live program. Eric started the program in 2011 to assist low-income families and ensure they receive nutritious fruits and vegetables which are grown right here on the college campus. MIVO, or the Mawa Environmental Volunteers Organization, is a youth-led environmental not-for-profit organization which means we're led by high school, college, and graduate students. Um, we do vo volunteer work throughout northern New Jersey on the weekends and during the week. Uh, we do things like trash cleanups and tree plantings. We work with lots of different community organizations. The main thing we're doing here at this garden is called the Farm to Live Initiative. The Farm to Live Initiative converts lawns to farms to produce food that is donated to hunger organizations. So we've been growing food here for the past three years and we've been building gardens like this all over Bergen County. Farm to Live volunteer Ryan Martens has worked closely with Eric for the past year. It's great work. He really involves the community and he's really involved in everything he can possibly do to better the community. So if you just see this farm here, it's not only this farm we have, but we're building another farm. We're involved in a lot of different work because he just enjoys reaching out to people and it really makes a difference. In addition to participating in service activities, it is quite evident that New Jersey heroes must have a true love for their community. You know, in 2008, I, I was a typical suburban kid. I spent most of my time playing video games. Um, kind of spending my time indoors. And I decided in 2008 with my best friends to go hiking. And we went outdoors into the natural environment, imagine that, and we had a great experience. And we wanted to connect more people to the natural world that we love. Since then, we've been called upon by the Northern New Jersey community to help with more broader issues and to create a world that is, quote unquote, sustainable. And for us, that means a lot of different things. And so we've kind of grown since then to advocate for collective action and for making a better future for future generations. I'm just, I'm amazed by him. He's just, he's a total giver and he wants to help people and he wants to change the world and he wants to have other people help other people and I think it's awesome. From his nonprofit work to his devotion to his community, there is no question that Eric Fuchs Stengel certainly possesses the qualities of a true New Jersey hero. At Bergen Community College, reporting for Neighborhood Journal, I'm Jeff Hennig.